is up YouTube so today's video I'm going to go over basically the error that I found in my last video and I'm going to show you guys exactly like how about how I went about troubleshooting it um, I'll I'll try to chapter this video so if you guys are only interested in getting the um, the actual answer to the problem you guys can just skip to the end and see how I fixed it but I think it's pretty valuable to learn um, the different troubleshooting steps leading up to how you solve this problem because like if you basically just go and look for the answers to all the problems you're not going to be able to figure them out yourself um, I learned a lot f fixing this issue and uh, that's what I kind of want to show you guys so before we get too far into it I'll, uh, I'll run the program get the error and kind of uh, catch you guys up if you're not familiar with the error that I ran into at the last video so basically what I have here is like my <clears throat> my blank scene with um, with easy multiplayer and vector vector and um, yeah and basically this is the character that I created so with with this error it's only happening with my my character um, and like you can see and I hit I and I go into my inventory I can go into my defensive items and back out I can go into my actual consumables and back out but when I go into my weapons menu and I try to back out I get this null reference error right here null reference um, exception object reference not set to an instance of an object and then it shows you like basically kind of where it's coming from it says in vector dot v item manager dot v item window display dot use item um, and if you double click on this it'll open up visual studio um, depending on what depending on what program you're using for your code i suggest like visual studio or vs code or with one of those um, but once you get there and it'll open it up basically right to where the error is happening so you can see over here that it's showing um, this is coming from the script v item window display dot cs and it's coming from line 103 so if we go over here to line 103 you can see that's the line it highlighted and this is inside of our use item function so it's basically calling this function and we're trying to do inventory dot on use item and then it's trying to like current selected slot dot item so it's basically trying to use an item um, and there is no item to use which is like why you can assume that all right there's that's why I'm getting a null reference but if you wanted more information about this what you can do is um, let me clear this up inside of Visual Studio you can go into basically debug over here and you can click on attach attach unity debugger if you click on that you'll see a bunch of things kind of popping up um, I I usually just go off of the one that's like has the name of my project so my project is called test Peter so I click on this one that's what I want it to attach to um, I can attach it right there and then what you can do is you can add a breakpoint right on this line so you can add breakpoints anywhere just by clicking over here and then you can go back to your unity game and it'll ask you basically um, if you want to enable debugging for this session just click on yes you want to that you want to enable debugging for this session and then you can click on play start server and now when I go in here and I recreate this bug you'll see it jumps right to the editor it stopped at this breakpoint and then down here it'll give you additional information as to like what's going on so you can see here that the current selected slot is null and the inventory is null um, and those reside inside of invector.vitemmanager.vitemslot and invector.vitemmanager.vinventory so that gives you some additional information on like what what's happening um, and then if you really wanted to take like a deep dive into the code you can also do that from here by clicking like either step into or step over or step out so if you step into this function 
it'll basically tell you um, what's happening right now is it's throwing an error so you're going down to this try catch um, block here and it's catching this error and then you're going to get a debug.log exception showing you exactly like what the error is you can step into that and it'll jump over here um, to basically tell you like the whole debugging thing this is how this is how it actually gives you that to log um, this is more like more in depth than you probably would want to go but if you're interested in how the code is doing what it's doing this is a great tool to really get that understanding um, but for the purpose of this video really all I wanted to highlight is um, <clears throat> what's down here in this window um, when you first hit that that issue so once I got to that point I was like alright that's cool um, also you can hit that little red square when you want to stop debugging and then you can come back over here and hit that so I was like alright that's cool there's something missing obviously and from what the code is doing it looked like it's trying to use an item which I thought was kind of strange because I'm just trying to back out my my um, inventory so one thing I wanted to try to do was to use my um, use my other character to see if maybe the uh, like the use the default character instead of my character so if you come down like I can go to my my main scene over here test main and go down to the EMI network manager this network manager is basically where you can kind of change which scene you want to join and what character you want to spawn so character to spawn we'll just switch this over to um, one of the default characters so I think this one non inventory non inventory this one yeah so the MPV shooter melee controller so we can go ahead and throw that character in and then if we go ahead and start you'll see that this is the default like in vector character or EMI character really um, <clears throat> And when I use this character, you can see everything works fine. So I was like, all right, let me go ahead and open up our our same script. So we have this same script here, um, the item display window. Okay. So here's our same script, and we still have the 103. We have the break on the line 103. So I was like, let me go ahead and do the debugging. We'll attach the Unity debugger to my same project there. And then if I go back into Unity, oops, I'm probably going to have to stop this. And it may, oh, I thought it was going to ask me if I needed to uh, do debugging again, but it looks like it's fine. All right, so we are debugging right now. And I was like, let me go in here and see what do I have to do for it to hit that function. Now, because it's talking about using items, I was like, let me go into my item menu. And after a little bit of like messing around, I figured, all right, I can click on this, and then I can click on use. And when I do that, it's like, boom, all right, now it hits my breakpoint. So essentially, that told me, and you can see here now it has current selected slot, actually has something, current selected slot item, like inventory all of this is actually functioning so this is working correctly this is what's supposed to happen um, but that basically tells me that in my previous character in my previous character right when I when I am in here and I'm in my equipment menu when I hit this back button essentially what my back button is doing is the same thing as this use button so that doesn't really make sense and I was like why would that be happening so one of the things that my friend showed me from work is um, how to use the gizmos You see this little gizmos up here in the right hand corner uh, I'll show you how we can use that to help solve this problem in a second but first let's go ahead and switch back to our character So I can switch back to MP Futuristic Soldier. And then we'll jump back into our game here. 
Alright. So now that we're in here, we can open up our menu. When our menu is open, you can click on Scene. And then you'll be able to actually look around and see, like, your actual scene. This is this is pretty much our menu. So switching from game view to scene view is nice when you want to look around. And actually, I have to click in this. I want to cause like what we're looking for is this button. So when we're in our scene now, what we can do, well actually in game mode, if we click on gizmos, we can click on gizmos and then go back to scene and what you'll see actually I'll jump out here real quick just so you can see so you see these things highlighted on my arms and this camera and stuff those are all the different oops, those are all the different gizmos so if you click them toggle them on and off you can see it highlights stuff so we want them highlighted and then we can go to like I said, we'll hit inventory, we'll click on this, and then we'll go to scene. And what we can do is we can click on items in here. And just kind of keep clicking. Sometimes you got to click through it, but basically what, it, what it'll do is it'll open up the hierarchy and it'll like basically open it slowly until you get to the point where like that button shows. So it shows once we get to this, like we're click we clicked on this now and you're gonna have to probably click through quite a bit but you can see it opens up your hierarchy over here so this opened up our shooter melee picker window right and then you can look through this here and you can see our back button so this is the button that we're interested in this is the button that's giving us problems and then once we got to this point it's like all right cool let's look and see what our button is doing so if you scroll down here you will see here's our button and then you can see on click all the events that this button does and as you can see there's a bunch of events and just like the previous issue that i had with my inventory um i don't know how all these events got here but you can see right here where it says MPV item window display dot use item. These these use items um, events here. That's what's causing this null reference because for some reason when we click our back button, all these different events are triggered. Um, so what we're gonna do is remove all these events because there's no reason to have all these events. All we wanted to do is like open. All we wanted to do is like close our menu basically. Um, so what I did is I looked at the previous character that we had in here that was working. I looked at his back button to see what events it had. And essentially what it had were three different events. So we can add three events here. Actually, I'm still playing. So this these, these changes aren't going to save. So I'm going to copy this real quick. Copy. Um, what we can do is we will close this, go to our project, I go to my prefabs, click on my character, and then we can go over here to our shooter melee window. We want to go to our back button, and again, here's our back button with all these events. I forgot that we were still in play, so like while you're playing the game, it's not going to save the changes that you make. So, got to make sure that you back out before you make changes I mean you can make changes and then like play the game to see if your changes work but then once you're sure your changes work you're gonna have to back out and then um, do it again so from here we take our shooter picker window and we can drop our shooter melee picker window into these two objects and we can grab our character preview and throw them there now for our shooter melee we have game object and we have set active and then for the character preview we have our animator and play string make sure you pick the string one not the int one and then we can paste in our whole character preview slide underscore reverse and then for our last one like i said we can go to our v item window on cancel so 
with those changes, now we can go ahead and run our program. Uh, whoops. Oh, my prefab's open. Yeah, so it'll give you an error if your prefab is open if, and you try to play the game. So just come up here and back out of the, pref the prefab. And then <clears throat> you'll be all set after that. Alright, so we are back into our game. Um, I can turn off the gizmos for now. Don't need them. So now if we go into our inventory, we click here, and we click on our back button. Look at that. It actually works. Our character um, preview animation slides back to place. He slides where he's supposed to be. It opens up our inventory, and it closes it just like all the other ones. So that is how I fixed this issue and all the different troubleshooting steps I went through to figure this out. Um, like I said, it's, it was more important for me to kind of highlight how to use the gizmos and how to use um, VS Code's debugger or VS um, Visual Studio, not VS Code, but um, basically using that debugger, using the gizmos, to find things in the hierarchy and understanding um, understanding buttons in your menus and the different uh, events that can be triggered basically. Um, this kind of troubleshooting is a lot different than what I'm used to. So previously, my, most of my previous experiences in um, Python and Java and just like different kinds of like program projects that I did that were mainly script based like all they really did all there really was is code and scripts to review and I used debuggers before like this to kind of jump through the code and find errors in the code but what's kind of different here and what I'm learning very quickly is that when you're working with game um, a game in unity there are so many different settings that are all inside of unity itself so even if your code is working correctly, you can get these strange errors that break your game, and it has really nothing to do with the code. Like, the code was doing what it was supposed to be. It was just the fact that I told it in my editor to try to use a piece of code in the wrong place, and when it tried to use that code in that wrong place, it didn't have everything it needed to run the code, which is why I threw that null error. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this, uh, this video useful and informative um, if you're just starting out with unity like I think a lot of this will be um, will be useful for you in helping track down little bugs in your project and just understanding the code better um, one thing like I said that is is useful about this uh, debugger tool is not so much even finding finding bugs or finding um, getting more information about the bugs which is really useful but I really like the idea of setting a breakpoint on like a particular function that you want to understand better and you want to know what it does. You can step through all the different um, steps of that function and see exactly where what's happening. Um, and that's really useful to, un to get a better understanding of your code um, or someone else's code for that matter. So that's all I got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, I'll continue to put out videos on different troubleshooting things that I do, and also just on um, you know different things that I build while I while I expand this project.